Hi, my name is Imran and this is my FYP presentation. Hello everybody! Thank you so much for attending this event today. And for those of you who are watching right now, I have very interesting things to share with you. Let's go. You see this picture? Nowadays, people are super busy with work and does not have time to do repetitive tasks, such as switching every single switches on and off every day. Plus, sometimes they forget to turn it off, causing excessive electrical consumption. What if there is a device that can automate that task for them? What if there is a device that can reduce their electrical consumption? Second picture. Old folks and disabled people. A majority of them suffers physical disability. I mean, that simple task such as switching lights on and off every single day is impossible or they need some help from others. What if there is a device that can do this task effortlessly using only a smartphone? Last picture. You guys see this? According to Energy Commission Malaysia, it's about 853 incidents happen recorded from 2002 into 2016 caused by electricity. Yes, huge number of incidents. What if there is a device that can provide maximum safety to people and significantly reduce this number? Okay, without further ado, I introduce you the Smart Switch System for Electrical Appliances in Household. The objectives for this device are to monitor electricity, to automate switching, to control switch, and to provide safety protection to the user. That's a lot of objective, but I know smart switch could handle that. Before we dive in further into smart switch system, let's take a look on previous research to set up a benchmark, okay? As you can see from the table, I take account the best out of the best features to be implemented into my device. Instead of using GSM or Bluetooth, which are slow and expensive, I use a cheaper and faster connection, Wi-Fi. I also created my own mobile apps, implement a schedule features using LED for low electrical consumption instead of unnecessary OLED display. Some of the devices have single to no safety at all. but I implement not single, but triple safety protection. With all of that, this is Smart Switch System. Well, for your information, Smart Switch System is made up using these softwares, Arduino IDE. It was used to code the device using C++ language. Android Studio was used to create the mobile apps it uses Java language. And lastly, Firebase. It is an online database that enables real-time data transfer. The components for this device are ESP32 as the microcontroller, PSM as the monitoring device, solid state relay as the switch, buck converter to convert 240 volt AC to 5 volt DC, a fuse, LED, AC plug, and AC socket certified by Serum. Well, enough about specification. Let's see the real device in action, shall we? Roll the video! Yes. Interesting video, right? Smart switch system has been tested to ensure that all of the features are working correctly. Let's take a look at this table. 
This is the respawn time for the physical switch and wireless switching. Compared to previous version, which is 6 to 10 seconds, by using Firebase, we improve it to 0.4 to 3 seconds only, significantly faster. We also added a new automation features that can schedule tasks for user. User can simply set desired time to turn on the device automatically at any time. Smart switch system also has been tested for monitoring. It's been calibrated with clamp meter to ensure its accuracy. For this experiment, I use a laptop as the tested appliance. The experiment was conducted for a week, eight hours a day, and this is the result. The voltage, the current, the power, and lastly, the energy. Let's take a look at this particular energy graph. User can see how much energy used for certain appliances. And if it's too much, user can simply switch off to save energy. Simple. <laughs> now let's take a look at the triple safety protection. I present to you, Professor Imran. Thank you, Imran. There are three safety protection that has been implemented into this device. Over current protection, over voltage protection, and reverse voltage protection. Let's test them one by one. The results are shown here. Fuse is used as an overcurrent protection and it will cut off electricity if the current is above 30 amps. For over voltage protection, we increase the voltage from 100 volts to 260 volt and the relay is programmed to automatically turn off when the voltage exceeds 253 volts limits. For your information, 253 volts is the maximum voltage allowed for electricity according to Energy Commission. The last protection is the reverse voltage protection. This feature is provided by the ESP32 microcontroller. We tested this feature by inversing the positive and negative input and connect it to the microcontroller. As expected, the microcontroller instantaneously disconnect automatically and save all of the components from damage. This test has shown the proof that smart switch system users will be completely protected from harm using the triple safety protection. Back to Yumran. Thank you, Professor. And finally, we came into the conclusion. Here are some of the upgrades I made compared to previous version. The first one, I had significantly reduced the switching response time delay. I increased the single to triple safety protection and I create my own mobile apps for this project. Although smart switch system has great upgrades, there are still some limitation and rooms for improvement. First of all, the hardware design needs to be improved. Future researcher can use 3D printing for case and PCB design for the circuit. Secondly, 8 hours or more usage can cause overheat to the device. Future researchers can improve the cooling system design and use a small fan to dissipate the heat outside. Last but not least, the device uses internet connection dependency. Future researchers can consider using local area network LAN to provide delay to almost instantaneous. As for the conclusion, this FYP is successful. A device named Smart Switch System was made and it met all of the objectives stated. With that, I finished my presentation here. My name is Imran. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Yes.